Hi guys, we're the Wolfmans and we're building our dream home again. And last we left it, we finished the exterior stucco on the back and sides of the house. And we are now starting to lay the stone on our front facade. We've always loved the look of Indiana limestone for the exterior, but it was just outside our price range. So we found a product that really closely mimics the look and it cost us $15,000 cheaper to go this route. Now we've spent quite a bit of time deciding how we want the stone to be laid and we decided on this interesting pattern where the bigger rows of stone will be set back while the thinner rows will protrude to add this interesting element of depth and interest. We then worked closely with our builder to create a pretty precise rendering of how each stone would be laid. It was important for us to give the masons a clear plan to work from because if we ended up not liking where certain pieces were cut, it's going to be quite expensive and challenging to change it after. So let's take you on site to see how this design comes to life. All right, so we have our tarping is officially done for the front facade of the house. So the next time uh, you guys see the front of this house, it is going to be fully finished. The exterior will be fully finished. So we can't wait for it to be done and we can't wait to show you guys. Now we've fully tarped the front of the house. Just getting started. Whoa, I should try not to fall. Just getting started with our uh, Tyvek wrap and we're gonna be doing some stone. So uh, within the next probably 10 days or so, we are gonna have our, uh, our front facade done. Pretty awesome. All right, first course of stone being put in today. Very exciting. need to come up there and do some work. Is that allowed? <laughs> and then you'll fix it after? <laughs> okay. All the way in? So did I do a perfect job? Yeah, so good. So good? Awesome. Okay, we're up here on the scaffolding. Uh, just going to uh, take a look at some of the stonework that the guys are doing so far. Doing a really great job. Couldn't be more excited. Uh, so let me show you a little bit. Okay, so we got some of our stonework here. We got our mid-band going across the house here. And they're really doing a really nice job with the stone. Couldn't be more excited. Get the grout coming in soon. I think it's going to look really special once it's all cleaned up. So up here on the stone, there was there wasn't really like a chip in the in the precast, but at the corner where they pieced the two cuts together, they had to shave off some of it. So right now it still looks a little rough. They're gonna have to touch that up. So we're hoping that that corner will still look nice and smooth. All right guys, so realities of a construction site. So we should have probably been done our stonework about three, four weeks ago. Um, we knew there was gonna be about a one week delay <clears throat> because uh, the Keystone contractors were gonna be out of town that week. Then they come back and uh, they tell us they're gonna be delayed another week till they can get back to site. Now they come back to the site and they remeasure and they tell us that we are short on some stone. So as a result, we're delayed basically two more weeks waiting to get that that material cut and and prepped from a few different suppliers so uh, not only is it frustrating that you know the front of our house isn't finished yet but it's also what impacts come from that we were supposed to have our gas uh, officially installed this past week and we had to push that back because while the scaffolding is in place they can't come into the do the dig to be able to connect our gas okay so not only does that slow down that process but then that slows down the process of us getting our heat for the house so just a really silly frustrating problem uh you know that's inevitably causing us a bunch of delays so you know frustrated standing here right now dealing with this but you know such is life on a construction site i guess
Hey guys, I am so excited. This is actually my first time seeing the stonework on the front of our house. This whole time, while the scaffolding was set up and while the tarp was covering the house, I purposely avoided going in there because I really didn't want to see it kind of done piecemeal. So I was really holding off uh, the urge to, coming, to come and peek underneath the tarp. But now that the tarp is down and the scaffolding is off, I can now really see it for the first time. So, Ta-da! I love the way that it turned out. I think that it turned out really classic and timeless. Um, I love the color. It has a really nice effect. I really like the design that we did in terms of the stone, some of it being flat and then smaller pieces being raised. I just feel it gives it some really nice character. Um, and I love it. So the little disagreement we're having right now is what kind of treatment we're going to do for underneath the canopy right here. So Josh uh, really wants like wooden cedar planks. It just looks really, really cool. Yes. It's like, it brings a little bit of a modern flair, but it certainly doesn't jump out at you. I agree that those are really nice and very, very pretty, but I think that just doesn't go with the rest of our house. I think there's nothing in here that brings out that cedar type of look or color. And so to me, it just seems completely out of place. Yep. I disagree. It doesn't work off of anything else that we have in our front facade. I disagree, dear. Well, let's see how this turns out, guys. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> this is it for our stone, but we still have a lot of work to complete the exterior of our home. Install garage doors, finish the windows, put up eaves troughs and downspouts, finish the canopy, install the front door, and do the driveway and landscaping. Thanks for watching. Please leave us a like or a comment and be sure to subscribe so you could keep following along our progress. In our next videos, we will take you inside the house as we share all the work happening there, like rough-ins, insulation, and drywall.